Blue whale genes reveal less inbreeding, more interbreeding than expected. Researchers completed genomic research on carcasses of the largest animals that have ever lived to understand North Atlantic whale populations. In 2014, nine blue whales died after being trapped by ice near Newfoundland, Canada. Two of their carcasses washed ashore and began bloating as they decomposed, causing worries of an imminent explosion and possibly inspiring a sketch on Saturday Night Live that ended with Charlize Theron covered in whale guts. More recently, the colossal corpses of these unlucky mammals have made an important contribution to science. Nearly a decade after their deaths, researchers have analyzed the DNA of the beached whales, along with samples collected from 26 other blue whales, to create the most accurate picture to date of the North Atlantic population's structure. The results, published this month in the journal Conservation Genetics, reveal a ticking time bomb in blue whale demographics, peculiar migration patterns and even clandestine cross-species matings. The global population of blue whales was seriously damaged by industrial whaling in the early 20th century. A declining population can raise rates of inbreeding, which can lower the variety in a population's gene pool and increase the risk of species extinction. With fewer than 3,500 adult blue whales remaining in the North Atlantic, scientists expected to find such a genetic bottleneck. At first, they were surprised when their genomic analysis showed no signs of one. They say it may result from the length of time it takes blue whales to reproduce, about 30 years to go from one generation to the next. It probably hasn't been enough time to really see a bottleneck effect, said Mark Engstrom, a genomicist at the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto who supervised the research effort. That North Atlantic blue whales have kept their genetic variation despite about a century of industrial whaling is good news said Axel Jenke, a genomicist at Goethe University Frankfurt in Germany who was not involved in the study. But if the population doesn't grow over the next century, drive. Engstrom said, he would expect a bottleneck to emerge, to the detriment of the whales. Whalers historically thought that blues in the North Atlantic were split into distinct East and West populations. But the whale's DNA tells a different story. Doctor. Engstrom's team found plenty of evidence for east-west intermingling. There are differences, he said, but that is a fairly recent split. Most often, genes flow from western blue whales to those in the east. The team speculates that this movement may be mirroring the North Atlantic current, in which seawater flows from west to east. Western whales may be following their favorite food, krill, as the waves wash the shrimpy crustaceans eastward where they encounter a different population of whales. Even more surprisingly, genes are crossing evolutionary lines as well as geographic ones. Blue whales have long been known to mate and reproduce with fin whales, even though the two aren't especially close relatives, and blue whales can be a good 25 feet longer and as much as 85 tons heavier. Many hybrid animals, like mules, for example, are sterile. But armed with their new data set, Drive, Engstrom's team found evidence of persistent interspecies mixing. All told, about 3.5% of the blue whale genome comes from fin whales. This is fantastic, Drive, Jenke said. He had previously looked for blue whale DNA in fin whale genomes and not found it. The new data, coupled with an analysis that Dr. Engstrom's team performed, suggests that though the hybrids aren't sterile, they mate only with blue whales. What traits are transferred from the fin whale to the blue whale? Dr. Jenke asked. He wonders if these genes benefit blue whales in any way. Dr. Engstrom plans to collect more blue whale genomes, which Dr. Jenke hopes could help scientists understand populations in other parts of the world. It's a big ocean. And with the diminished blue whale numbers, he said, knowledge is power. There's kind of a motto that we have, drive. Jenke said, you can only protect what you know.
Population Structure and History of North Atlantic Blue Whales, Balinoptera musculus musculus, inferred from whole genome sequence analysis. Population Structure and History of North Atlantic Blue Whales, Balinoptera musculus musculus, inferred from whole genome sequence analysis. Knowledge of genetic diversity and structure is essential for developing conservation strategies for endangered species. Blue whales were hunted to near extinction in the mid-20th century. Notwithstanding almost 380,000 animals killed globally, much remains unknown about their population structure and migration patterns. Herein, we use whole genome sequencing to elucidate the poorly understood population genetics of North Atlantic, not blue whales. We generated a de novo genome assembly for a na blue whale to analyze 19 other whole genomic sequences and 31 complete mitochondrial genomes. Present day and historical samples, earliest from 1876, from the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans were included to understand the impact of whaling on the genetic diversity of this species. We found low but statistically significant population structuring and high genetic diversity. Demographic modeling using fast sim coal 2 rejected an absence of gene flow between eastern and western na blue whales and suggested an asymmetric west to east gene flow. Introgression estimated using D statistics between blue and fin whales, Balinoptera physalis, was observed in all present day samples. This gene flow was found to be unidirectional from fin whales to blue whales and accounts for tilde 3.5% of the NA blue whales genome. Our sequencing and population structure analyses provide a genomic baseline to inform ongoing conservation strategies for this iconic species. The blue whale, Balinoptera musculus, is the largest animal that has ever lived, with individuals reaching 30 meters in length and weighing up to 150 tons. They are found in oceans across the globe but were historically most abundant in the Southern Ocean, Sears and Perrin 2018. These whales were too fast and powerful for early whalers to catch using traditional methods and it was not until technological advancements in the 1860s that commercial exploitation of the large, rorqual, whales became possible. Whaling for blue whales began in the Northeast Atlantic, NEA, and subsequently spread rapidly to all other oceans on an industrial scale, Thomas et al. 2016 the blue whale's large size made them a lucrative target as they provided a more profitable yield per unit of hunting effort than other whales. By the second half of the 20th century, commercial whaling had brought this species to the brink of extinction. A worldwide pause on the hunting of blue whales was put into effect by the International Whaling Commission, IWC, in 1966. Although a complete moratorium on all commercial whaling was implemented in 1985, some illegal hunting persisted. It has been estimated that between 1900 and the late 1970s, over 379,000 blue whales were harvested globally, Rocha et al. 2014. Blue whales are currently classified as endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, Cook 2019, and in North America they are listed under the Canadian Species at Risk Act, SARA, and the U.S. Endangered Species Act, ESA. While no longer hunted, they continue to be threatened by ship strikes, fishing gear entanglement, marine noise, pollutants, and climate change, Kosevich 2012. Though blue whale numbers are thought to be slowly increasing globally, this growth has been described as spotty and equivocal, branch et al. 2004, Thomas et al. 2016, Cook 2019. Today there are an estimated 5,000-15,000 blue whales, only 3-11% of the 1926 global species estimate, Cook 2019. Despite the modest growth for the species, Several aggravating factors continue to challenge recovery of some blue whale populations. For na blue whale stocks these challenges include reduced calving and recruitment rates, persistent ecological disruptions, Beauchamp et al. 2009, Cobrac et al. 2022, as well as lagging governance on recovery efforts, Cobrac et al. 2022. In fact, 
There is no evidence of recovery from the impact of whaling on this species in the N.A. ramp at all. 2006. Understanding population structure is of critical value for the conservation of blue whales, considering the regional trends. Knowledge of the distribution, genetic structure, and population ecology of blue whales is essential for the protection of this vulnerable species. Blue whales are currently divided into at least four distinct subspecies, Balinoptera musculus brevicata, B.M. Intermedius, B.M. Indica and B.M. Musculus. Population structure. Genetic diversity and connectivity in the Pacific and Southern Oceans have been studied extensively using genetic markers, Adderd et al. 2010, 2016, 2018, Barlow et al. 2018, Costa Arusha et al. 2013, Leduc et al. 2017, Sremba et al. 2012, Torres Flores et al. 2014. No similar genetic data has been generated thus far for blue whales in the N.A. Balinoptera M. Musculus. However, numerous studies have looked at contemporary blue whale movements, distribution and population size within the NA using sightings, photo identification, vocalizations, satellite tracking and isotope analyses, Davis et al. 2020. Delarue et al. 2022. Lesage et al. 2017. Pike et al. 2019. Silva et al. 2013. 2019. Story et al. 2018. Truman et al. 2019. Wild data from tagged animals helps provide information on contemporaneous movements. Lesage et al. 2017, a large gap remains in our understanding of blue whale migrations, population ecology and interconnectivity, particularly across the N.A. One outstanding conservation question is whether blue whales in the eastern and western portions of the N.A. comprise a single population, as homogeneous versus discrete populations may merit different recovery strategies. Early whalers thought that there were two distinct stocks of blue whales in the N.A. Lesage et al. 2017. Long-term photo identification data coupled with satellite telemetry data suggests a low degree of admixture between eastern and western NA blue whales, Ramp and Sears 2013, Sears and Colombo Kittis 2002, Sears and Perrin 2018, Silva et al. 2013. However, Blue whale songs recorded from the Northeast Atlantic NEA, and Northwest Atlantic NWA, are similar, yet distinct from blue whales in other oceans, suggesting that population structure, if it exists, is likely minor and recently evolved Clark 1994. In the NWA, blue whales presently only number about 250 adults, Kosevich 2012, whereas in the NEA there are approximately 3,000 individuals, Pike et al. 2019. Currently, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's NOAA Revised Recovery Plan for the Blue Whale 2020 https colon slash slash repository dot library dot noah dot gov slash view slash noah slash two seven three nine nine closing parenthesis makes clear that the question of whether eastern and western whales in the NA constitute one population or two is unresolved.